I'm going to show you a pretty simple way to double your damage. This Malefic Ape is level 80 with no defense down or any debuffs that increase damage. Blade's raw enhanced basic attack does 9732. It's also important to note that he's level 80. We'll go over why in a second. Now this is a new wave but it's the exact same enemy. We're going to apply 100% defense down using Pella's ultimate. Pella's Lycone, Resolution Shines as Pearls of Sweat, Silver Wolf's Ultimate, and Silver Wolf's Talent that applies a bug that reduces defense. Any defense reduction past 100% doesn't do anything for your damage, but at 100% you should expect at least a 2 times increase to your damage, which is pretty cool. I'll go over some of the mechanics and how the damage formula works after this, but we're just going to do a quick test here. The Malefic 8, we'll check the debuffs. If you add this all up real quick, 6, 45, 14, 40, it goes over 100%, but it's as if it's got zero defense now, minus 100%. 19,696, that's more than double of his raw enhanced basic. So this is the most non-clickbait clickbait video because technically you are getting double or more than double your damage with a couple easy steps. I'll go over its viability and how to achieve it as well. Right now you need Silver Wolf to apply a <laughs> defense down and I'm sure we'll get more characters in the future but you need to pair her with Pella to achieve this. So unfortunately not accessible to everyone and its viability is still in question because we're taking up a slot that you might use a Tingyun or a Branya instead. So those are definitely things to consider as well. Right now we have four ways of applying defense reduction and the only thing you really need to know is we're using Resolution Shines as Pearls of Sweat, this light cone, and then we're using Pella's ultimate. None of these matter. We'll go to Silver Wolf real quick. Where did she go? Silver Wolf, she's on this light cone so she doesn't affect it with her signature. But the important thing here is the defense down from her ultimate stacking with her talent, which applies a bug that puts 6% defense. But you should be overshooting the defense reduction anyway. So super impositions, the levels don't matter too much as long as you have them leveled up a fair amount. I'll show the blade build just for, <laughs> for your interest. He's E0. Pretty maxed out, but... He's going to be our test subject for this damage test because he's got pretty predictable damage and I'll show you again why all of this works. Before we begin, I want to remind you that if you are enjoying these videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Only around 5% of you are subscribed, so I'd appreciate it a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. The way enemy defense works is it reduces your total outgoing damage to enemies based on their defense. Makes sense, right? It's a multiplier that's affected by the difference between your character and the enemy's level. So in general, the higher the enemy's level compared to your own, the more defense will reduce your damage. But for simplicity's sake, let's assume the defense multiplier is 0.5, which means all outgoing damage you do will get halved. If we can reduce the enemy's defense to zero, then we'll double our damage because the multiplier becomes one. Whenever you multiply something by one, it's unchanged. Now, an important note is that the defense reduction scales exponentially the more it gets reduced. So, this is why stacking multiple defense reduction characters has a lot of value. And also, the higher level enemies are, the more defense they'll have. So, defense reduction gains more value with higher level enemies. I'll show you all of these examples and then compile them in a bit of an infographic so you can see the results and changes based on enemy reduction percentage. You might have noticed I'm not using Luch's alt at all and that's so I don't apply his E6 debuff which I found a really dumb workaround for and it's simply just casting his skill to keep the team alive. But anyway here's all the breakpoints of defense reduction against a level 80 enemy which should be pretty representative of how much damage increase each increment of damage reduction or defense reduction does. So looking here, I've done this test multiple times in multiple battles just to make sure there weren't any external buffs like E1 Locha. So I've double checked all these. 
when you reduce the defense to 86%, and that's just using a Resolution Shine's Light Cone, you're getting a 1.07 times damage increase. If you use Pella's Ultimate and bring them down by 54% death, so they're at 46%, it's a 1.39 times damage increase over the initial. And when you reduce it further by 46 more percent, you go all the way to 2.08 times more damage. So you can see it's an exponential increment of defense reduction. So the more you have, the better it is up until 100% defense. You can already see the value at 46% def, which is 1.4 times more damage than you'd be normally doing to level 88 enemies if your character is level 80. But you can see just an extra 46% def increases that number to 2.08 times of the initial, which is just crazy. So there's a lot of value to bringing more defense reduction, of course, maxing out at 100%, which we might get with future characters. We'll see. <laughs> might be some more crazy synergies, but yeah, defense reduction is really strong in this game, and I'd highly recommend taking advantage of it and not just using harmony units. A good balance will always be the way to go, I feel, in this game. If a sustain character isn't needed, I imagine teams with a harmony and then two nihilities will probably be the highest damage dealing because you can get 100% damage <laughs> or def I keep calling it damage, but it's defense reduction on enemies. And then you also get the harmony buffing your main carry as well. But there's one last point I wanted to make about defense reduction. There are different sources of getting it and it's not just on enemies. Defense Ignore also factors into the multiplier. So 4-piece Quantum has 20% Defense Ignore if they have Quantum Weakness. And what this means is you automatically subtract 20%. So they're like you're treating enemies as if they're already at 80%. So you can't get more than 100%. If you reduce them by 80%, you're already at the max of 0% defense. If that makes sense, let me know. <laughs> Sorry, I rambled on quite a bit, but I wanted to get this information out to you. So luckily for us, against the max level enemies at level 90, we might be doing less damage because they have more defense, but when you do reduce their defense, you get more of a total net damage increase. So 8,361 raw. Now let's reduce their defense to zero with our Pella and Silver Wolf. We'll make sure to take a look at their debuffs as well, just to make sure all four of them are applied. It does seem like a lot, but it's really just two abilities that make it work with a couple of items, or I guess it's just resolution shines. 17,352. So that's more than the other tests because these are higher level and it does prove our theory is correct. So just some final thoughts. I do think that double nihility that reduces enemies defense stacking because it's exponential will be really competitive with harmony units. Again, we'll have to see what the future holds and what characters come out. But right now, Silver Wolf and Pella do make a really strong pair. Two times damage for your entire team is nothing to scoff that. So it's very strong. I think it's competitive with our current harmony units. And if you don't have anyone else and you want to try this combo, definitely go for it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.